So what do you do? That's a common enough way to start a conversation or a question to ask when you meet someone for the first time in a social setting or in a business setting, somewhere out in public. Now, many of us have been coached to be ready with that elevator pitch, given the fact that you're only going to be talking to that person for a few seconds, so you have to concisely illustrate what you do and, and your value in a very short period of time, in this case, an elevator ride. An example for me might be, my job is to help my clients make wise financial decisions through the different phases of their lives and partner with them along the way. Now, I don't really see anything wrong with that statement, and it's certainly better than when I first started in this industry about 28 years ago, and I had to explain to people that I was working at that time for an insurance company. That pretty much was the last word I said for the rest of the night. But at this point in my life, I really don't, I'm not interested in setting the hook and, and grabbing someone's attention to make sure that they'll follow up with a phone call. So I decided for this video, instead of an elevator pitch to explain what I do, we're gonna be taking a car ride. Now don't worry, it's only about a two minute drive, but that'll give me enough time to explain what I really do with and for my people. Uh, topics I'd normally come to mind would be first retirement income planning, do you have enough? When can you retire? How will you be retiring? Where will the money be coming from? And, and what accounts get turned on when? And for investment choices, are your investments in the right place lined up with your retirement plan? Most people should be more concerned about not running out of money as opposed to getting a certain rate of return. And are those choices in your best interest? For a little more about that and how you should be working with a fiduciary, please check out a video I did about a couple years ago that's entitled, What is a Fiduciary and Why Should I Care? And that's just the start. There's Social Security decision making. Do you start early, later? What about your spousal options? And then Medicare, Medicare Advantage, other types of health care. You have gifting to charity. Do you gift now, later? How do you leverage your tax advantages for that kind of gifting? Wills, trusts, powers of attorney are also topics to go over. And often I may attend an attorney meeting with a client. And of course, and I've done a number of videos on this, what about the what ifs? You need to understand, is your life insurance doing what you need it to do? What about long-term care? Are you going to be putting a burden on those you either leave behind or leave to take care of you? And finally, I'm there when there's a passing of a client and often the survivor is at a loss. If I'm ever in need of a reminder of how lucky I am doing what I do, it's when I think of my people who have told me that their husband or wife during their last days told them to call me. So there you go. Quite a bit longer than an elevator pitch. Not too bad of a car ride, but that's what I do. Yeah.